Welcome to the Vuzik Station version 8 introduction video. This is for the release candidate that I'm doing. And Vuzik Station version 8 is actually a new product done from the ground up. So we have a new engine and uh, it is cross platform Windows and Mac 32 and 64 bits. It works much more. Uh, optimize it and it uses a mo much more modern coding and uh, it's also very light in resource and easier to use compared to previous versions but it's considered a new product because uh, it's not an upgrade uh, it loads legacy presets but it uses a different structure for the sounds but you can see here I have my older presets and they're loading just fine, some with some limitations, but mostly the sounds just load correctly. This is the RTV and UH collection that's included in the demonstration. my showcasing presets here So I want to show you a bit the difference between uh, Vuzik Station 7 and Vuzik Station 8. Uh, you first let me talk about the global menu that uh, a lot of users forget about or just don't find about. You just click on the left top corner here on the Vuzik logo and uh, you can select different type of skins. We have the default skin the green light gray and I'm using the red right now you can select the two chips uh, the time for it to appear the oversample is very important because it can improve the sound quality of all generators key shortcuts idle timeout I'm currently disabled it so I don't have problems doing the video the refresh rate show preset details because the version 8 can you can save details on the preset when you save a new preset let me show you I want to save a preset so here I have description and other things I can uh, save along with the preset and it's going to show it's going to show when you right click on a, on a preset or if you have selected here, <coughs> it's going to show every time you load the preset. Mm, I have <coughs> the master limiter, you can disable the master limiter for because you have here the master limiter. And you can auto nor normalize samples on the sample player. And you have the about box. This is the beta 48 the last latest beta I have released but um, I'm going to be working now on the release candidate number one so on version 8 we have different types of layers on version 7 you have four oscillator layers regular oscillator uh, for sample playback with the possibility to draw oscillators too and two wave sequencers but here you have unlimited number of any type of layer you want, so I can have like six wave sequencer, a super oscillator, a draw wave oscillator, and you also have the new audio looper, which let you 
record any audio input and use that instrument. Here I have my three oscillator. this preset here amplitude modulation too uh, what happens here I can add or replace a layer so let me add let's say the label oscillator I can unlock so I can draw then I use the linear to smooth and I can have up to 20 waveforms that I can fade from one another and do different types of sounds I have other videos showing you how to do this and you also can load wave files so if I go here on sound sets I have let's say the adventure kids waveforms I can load directly to a slot or I can use the waveform browser this is for the drawable slater so it's a very handy. Let me mute. And one thing a lot of people do not understand is the sustain point one and two on the envelope. Because when you have two sustain points, it's going to go for one another in a loop. So you can do this kind of things. Let me show you here. So you have just to be careful that both are the same value so it doesn't click when you go from one point to another. So the sample player which in the wave sequencer both use the sample player actually so when you have the wave sequencer you have the sample player here you can load sounds by clicking and selecting or using the selector here on the right you can also load other music station sounds here sequencer I have two modes for the wave sequencer the old mode is actual mode 2 which has crossfade and retrigger options and mode 1 which is like a uh, more advanced arpeggiator so you can uh, have different type of sequence running you can have four sequences running like an uh, advanced arpeggiator and mode 2 is going to use a monophonic voice mode so it's going to follow the amplitude envelope and you can crossfade sounds. So I select mode 2 and I can cross crossfade sounds. So let me load another sound here, new layer. So now I have two layers here, layer 1 and layer 2. And I can select here layer 1 and layer 2. <laughs> to use the wave sequencer on version 8 you can also uh, select insert 6 4 step or just keep duplicating the presets and doing small variations
also have different types of filters. You have the custom filter, which is uses a script that you can create your own filters. It's more advanced. And um, you also have the legacy filter and two new Moog based filters and a multi filter. The legacy filter was was also improved. And yes, you can load legacy presets. I have shown before the art artificial generation collection. I was loading some presets. Also here, have here the electro music. other sounds here. Some of these presets are from third party sounds, third party companies, but most are included the Megadeth, Megadeth Collection 2, and the Vuzki Magazine. There are several sounds here. So you can have a good idea of the Vuzki. <laughs> area with insert effects, the sand effects and the modulation. Each layer has its own modulation and you have the modulation sequencer and other options global arpeggiator and the master you have the arpeggiator for the master too. So you have a lot of good options here. This give you a brief idea of what Vuzke with Station version 8 can do. And on the next video I'm going to show you more about it and explain more deeply each option on the program. <laughs>